kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim welcome to my another video tutorial on android app development and so guys in this video tutorial i will be teaching you on how you can use a foreground service in your android applications all right so for all those of you who don't know what is a foreground service so basically a foreground service is a service that is that is never killed all right so the service will never be killed by the os unless there is some uh, low memory issues uh, other than that the service will never be closed all right so th there are many scenarios that if you want your service to, to be active for all the time then you have to use a foreground service all right so basically a foreground service is a service that is uh, attached with a notification okay so whenever the service is running so there will be a, a notification that will be popping up on in your in your uh, android phone so that's how it works okay so i think the whatsapp also uses the foreground service that is never killed okay even if you close the app or if you force stop the app the whatsapp app but still if you get a message then the message is received by your whatsapp app okay so let's get started so here as you can see that i already have i already have built the project and okay so we, we will start and we can create this service so we will just click on new java class and we can name this service as my service okay and then what we have to do is we can say we have to uh, extend it with the service class and it is uh, having a red line and it's saying that you have to uh, declare or abstract or implement the abstract method on bind okay so we have the method on bind and there you will see that the error has been gone okay so now what we are going to do is there is a function that is start when the service is started and that is the on start command all right so inside this on start command so whenever the service is started then we the on start command method is called all right so here we have to write the code in order to create the foreground service so uh, well before that we have to specify the service inside our android manifest file so here we can write my service and that's how we initialize it inside our or declared it it in the manifest file and there we have the on start command okay so so first of all we have to create a notification channel and after we create the notification channel we can uh, create and we can convert this uh, service to the foreground okay so you have to follow me if you don't know anything or if you cannot understand then you can comment down down below and i will answer all of you okay so here first of all we have to check uh, or we can create a function that create notification channel okay so here first because uh, we have to create a notification channel because if there is uh, the new code for the android oreo and above sdk so here we have to uh, define the channel otherwise the notification will not be displayed okay so here i click on alt enter and we click on create method and here we have this this method create notification channel so here first of all we have to check if operating system is oreo or above okay i mean 8.0 or above so here we can check if build dot version dot sdk int and if it is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot o and if it is equal to or greater than oreo then we can create the notification channel otherwise we just create the uh, otherwise we don't do that here. okay so now what we are going to do is here we can say notification channel and we can <laughs> name it as notification channel equal to and it will be new notification channel and in here what we have we have to pass on three parameters so first of all we have to pass on the channel id so for this we can say channel id one suppose we just write this and then we say the name of the 
uh, of the notification so here we can say foreground notification and we have to set the importance or the priority so for this we can say notification manager dot importance default all right so that's how we create the notification channel object then we can use the notification manager class and we can use it like this manager equal to get system service and here we have to provide the notification manager uh, dot class and then we say like manager dot create notification channel and here I have done the mistake so we have to first of all use the correct manager and here we can say manager dot create notification channel and in here we have to pass on our manager object so in this way but it's still saying uh, giving me an error so I have to check and then we can start alright so I had done the mistake so first of all here we have to uh, we have to pass on the notification channel here instead of the manager because I did some mistake and I am sorry for that and after this uh, after we have created the notification channel what we are going to do is we are going to um, write the code and we now have to create the foreground service so for this first of all uh, okay so now we have to create the notification object here so here we already have created the notification channel and here we what we are going to do is first of all we are uh, okay so okay so also I want to uh, I want to teach you that we can also attach or bind this uh, this service or the notification with our activity I mean the main activity okay so whenever the user will click on the on the notification so the main activity will be opened all right so here first of all we can now say intent intent one equal to new intent and in here we are have first of all have to pass on our current object and I mean this and then we can have to open our main activity dot class and then what we are going to do here is first of all we have to use a pending intent so basically the pending intent uh, we can create the object and here we can say pending intent equal to pending intent dot get activity and inside this activity we are going to use this for our context then we have to use a, an integer value for the request code so that will be zero and then we have to use the intent we have to pass on our intent one here and then finally we have to uh, write uh, for the flag so we have to pass on zero okay and now we can create our, our notification so here we can say notification we have to import the class and here we can say equal to new notification compact dot dot builder sorry and in here we have to pass on our current or uh, the current context and then we have to pass on our channel id so here we have to provide the same channel id that we provided here so here i will provide the channel id and then we here it is showing me error okay so here we now can say dot set content title and here we have to pass on uh, suppose uh, my app to tutorial then here we can say dot set content text dot set content text and here we can say our application is running and then we can say dot set small icon and we can pass on our icon like ic launcher and then finally we can say dot set content intent 
and here we have to pass on our pending intent okay and finally we can say dot build okay so now we have the we have the notification object here and then we have to use a function that is start foreground and it will have we have to pass on the id integer id and the notification object so for this we can pass uh, like one and then we have to pass on our notification object so that's how it works and here we can say return start sticky because we do not want to the service to end so here that's how we create the notif the foreground service but also i want to make sure that we have we use the on destroy function and inside this on destroy function we have to stop the foreground and here we have to pass on sorry we have to pass on true because we have to remove the we have to remove the notification so if we do not want to re remove the notification we can pass on false here all right and then we can just say stop self so the service will auto we will stop itself so then uh, so now our service work is completed so only we now need to uh, open or create the service using the intent so here first of all uh, we have to write like simple way intent intent equal to new intent and here we have to pass on this then we can say my service dot class then here we have to check if uh, if we have if the we have oreo or above then we have to use start foreground service otherwise we have only to use start service so here we can check again or we here we can say if build dot version dot stk int is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot o and then here we can say start foreground service and we have to pass on our intent then inside our else part we have to say start service and we can pass on our intent here all right so that's how we create a service and now i can easily uh, run our application and i will show you so let me see how can i show you okay so here i already uh, have my phone connected and but i cannot see the device here so you can uh, run the application and you can test it yourself so if you find any error so you can comment down below otherwise i think there is there will be no error and the service will, will be created and you will be able to see the notification and if you click on the notification so the main activity will be opened all right guys so i hope that you have understood uh, like the concepts of how you can use the foreground service in your android uh, application so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye